Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number 11. Here, they have to put a satellite to or above the surface of earth which makes its radius as 3R. Now, satellite when it was at the surface of earth, it had this gravitational potential energy plus we must have given it some kinetic energy and when it is orbiting around the earth you can write its potential energy as minus g mm by 3r because the distance from center of earth is 3r plus its kinetic energy which we need to calculate how much will be the kinetic energy of the satellite to calculate this kinetic energy we apply Newton's second law because the force that will be supplied for circular motion will be this and this force is being applied on the satellite by the earth and this is the required mass into acceleration. When we solve it for mv square we get the value of mv square as g m m by 3 r. We put this value there and when we solve it, we get option number 1 as our answer. Question number 12. This question is about actually a low pass filter. Here the capacitor is acting as a low pass filter. And we can see that frequency of the wave which will be greater than 1 by tau will not be able to pass through this low pass filter. So what we need is that the frequency remains less than 1 by tau. Time constant will be equal to RC as we all know it. So if we calculate the value of frequency by this, then we will find that the frequency should be less than 4 kilohertz. Uh, 40 kilohertz. It will be less than 40 kilohertz. Now, there are two options which are smaller than 40 kilohertz. If you look at it, there will be 10.62 kilohertz and 5.31 kilohertz. But it says the maximum possible. So the maximum possible will be 10.62 kilohertz is the maximum possible but lesser than 40 kilohertz. Hertz. So, the correct answer will be option 2. Answer to question number 13. Now, as we can see, there is an unpolarized light which is being incident on a polarizer. So, the intensity of the unpolarized light after passing would become half of what it was originally there. Now, when it passes through another polarizer at 45 degree, we know that the intensity will change and it will become cos square 45 degree. So, it becomes I naught by 4. Hence, the correct answer will be option number 3. Answer to question number 40. This question, we have to go step by step. The first step is when we are using only the bulb. So when we are using only the bulb, this is how we can draw the circuit diagram. This is the lead wire of resistance 6 ohm. And for the bulb, we can calculate that the resistance will be 240 ohm. And the given voltage is 120 volt, the main voltage. Now, how we calculated this 240 ohm resistance? As we know, the power of the bulb given is 60 watt. So, assuming 
that 120 volt is the rated voltage and the voltage is 60 we can see that the resistance of the bulb comes out to be 240 now when this is the scenario the potential drop across the bulb can be calculated by calculating the current and current will be 120 divided by these two resistance in series that is 246 so this is the current that is flowing through this circuit that we multiplied by 240 and we get the voltage drop across the bulb in the beginning which if we calculate comes out to be 117.07 now when we add another thing another heater in this a heater in this there is this resistance of 240 ohm and there is a heater here of resistance you can calculate similar by similar method resistance of heater it is 120 and the wattage given is 240 so the resistance of heater this time will come out to be 60 ohm now in this case we need to calculate again the voltage drop across the bulb and this was the voltage drop across the bulb in the first instance now how we calculate this again we need to find out the drop across this particular bulb so for that purpose we can calculate the voltage across the bulb and that will be simply this much as these two are in parallel and this is in series and when we calculate this voltage this time it comes out to be 106.6 and the difference between these two voltage if we calculate it is approximately 10 volt which gives us answer number 4 as our correct answer 